Coming together to do something extraordinary. That's one of the visions behind Omaha's new VA hospital. And the state-of-the-art building will serve 150,000 vets in Nebraska and Western Iowa. KETV News Watch 7's David Earl has a message from the architect. It's a story you'll see only on 7. Maybe the first thing you'll notice about the new VA hospital addition is its color. The stark contrast to the drab building next door is not just window dressing. It's symbolizing those men and women and all of the ribbon racks that they wear on their uniforms. Look at a dress uniform and you'll see the vision of Leo A. Daily architect John Andrews. He designed a warm, inviting space after realizing the VA hospital wasn't just about the health care. They were there for camaraderie. It was for me enlightening uh, that they would sit in the lobby and have a cup of coffee and talk to other veterans and, and just be there socially. Veterans had definitely outgrown the old building built right after World War II ended. Just ask Dick Harrington. It's like this, there's no space. Not a problem anymore in these new clinic rooms and outpatient space will free up square footage in the old hospital. They've made tremendous use of natural light so there's a great deal of natural light that floods into waiting areas through a wall of glass folded, of course, on purpose. Looks a little bit like it could be a flag in the wind. And that's the uh, symbolism of that wall. The lights overhead are laid out in a special grid to blend seamlessly into the folds of the glass wall. A healing garden sits behind the building. Art hanging on the walls has veteran connections, but not every nod is so subtle, like in the hallway that connects the new building with the old. Maybe We've got very large representations of all the seals of all the services there. Really nice touch. A tribute to the veterans made possible by the partnership between the U.S. government and private people to care for those who've served. All these people came together to do something that is it's extraordinary. Omaha billionaire Walter Scott spearheaded this project and other local philanthropists and businesses pitched in to help. I have a copy of Scott's letter to the community to share with you tonight. He praises the work of Congress to get this done, saying the law that let it happen was common sense, allowing, quote, local communities to participate in the planning and construction of health care projects for our veterans. Knowing it was for veterans, Scott says, made this more of a mission than a project. If you want to know more about the new VA Care Center and read the history of how the city got this done, head over to KETV.com right now. It's right there on the homepage. In Omaha, I'm David Earle, KETV News Watch 7.